everyone, Mandy here. This week I talked to four different drivers. I asked them to explain to us the difference between a slick track and a rubber down track. Well, a lot of nights when, uh, you know, at, at Bridgeport or other tracks that we go to, the race will start out, there'll be some moisture in it, and then it starts to blow off. And, you know, it, some nights we have a track where it gets real slippery, kind of like Utica Rome gets up there. It gets glass, it glazy, glassy and uh, real slippery. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have any grip to it. It just has a shine to it. It's almost like going to a slick track where they put powder down, uh, just a, a shined off polish. And then there's other tracks that have more abrasive to it. They're more abrasive and they'll actually rubber up. They'll take, they'll actually start wearing the tires off and adding the tires will actually stick to the track. So the track will actually lock down. You end up a lot of times with one groove, you know, to be around the bottom, be the fast way around and that's where it rubbered up. Um, and if that happens, that's where you need to be. So obviously a slick track is what we most commonly see with a sprint car or any dirt track racing in general as the night moves on uh, towards the, uh, the end of the heats and into the feature. It's uh, the time where you have to make the most traction you can with the cars. That's usually when you see the, you know, in wing sprint car racing, when the wings go back farther and farther, uh, just a, a battle for traction all the time. Uh, it, it's noticeable due to the track getting kind of shiny and having a higher gloss to it. Uh, most commonly, that's when you see the best racing because it's, uh, it takes more things to be in tune, the, the car, the driver, uh, and the right uh, line selection while racing all, all come into play more critically at that time. Uh, rubber down is the effect that we get right after that usually. Uh, after some point of uh, slick tracks where guys run, uh, a lot of guys end up running the same tr uh, line uh, for, for a long point of the night. It'll start to get abrasive. The tires start to grind off and start laying down under the track, at which point uh, we actually get faster and faster as it goes. Uh, more abrasive, more traction, so it uh, kind of goes back the other way, and that's uh, the worst possible scenario for both the, uh, the overall show and, and the competition for the competitors due to it being kind of single file and difficult to pass. So all things considered, there's a, uh, a tremendously good balance right in the middle of all of that. Uh, the biggest difference is a slick, you just can't get any grip. You go on the racetrack, you can slide all over the racetrack and uh, have a lot harder time getting the uh, tires uh, to give you drive. You go out in the rubber, uh, you'll see lap times getting faster. It's actually putting rubber and sticky part down the racetrack. Um, you know, usually you got to free up a little bit for that and um, just makes the race a little more of a freight train. You can't move around much. Oh well, uh, a slick track you can tell easily because it's got like a shine to it. It'll you know, look like a mirror, you see reflection off of it. And uh, when it starts to start to lock down and start to take rubber, it just starts to get duller looking. It'll start to turn gray and then eventually turn black. But the biggest difference is slick and shiny and even before it takes rubber, it starts to lock down and get grip again. And it's just because it's abrasive. It's not really rubber yet. It's just starting to go down, but it just gets that dull finish to it. And that's, that's the easiest way I can tell. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and come back every Wednesday for the latest.